Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep These sessions seem to be taking on a a kind of life of their own in a sense of the structure the process of recording them the content the regularity even of these sessions seem to be kind of maneuvering themselves in a way and instead of instead of sitting up in the bed I'm actually lying down flat on the bed or in the bed it's never in the bed really is it otherwise you'd be inside the mattress but on the bed and part of the reason for that is I've had a few problems with my neck as far as uh, it might be because of me sitting up on the the bed and my neck is a kind of a weird angle I'm not I'm not sitting on my head or anything like that I'm not kind of looking at one part of the ceiling forcing my neck into some weird extreme yoga position (laughs) so I suppose I should just remind you to only watch or listen to these Sessions when you can safely close your eyes as it is as it is I may fall asleep myself but hopefully not I've just woken up and uh There have been a few, few changes since I did my last session on Friday. So it's Monday now. So I've not recorded anything over the weekend. So for financial reasons I have cut back on some of the things that I pay out for online. So 
so I have sounds like I'm tasting something got rid of four podcasts four podcasts that I was paying for two from Podomatic and two from Podbean the Podbean podcasts were the let me bore you to sleep ones these ones that I'm doing now and the hypnotic buffet ones so those podcasts have now gone forever but the sessions have not gone so what I've done is I've organised them so you go to my website jasonnewland.com and in the menu there is let me bore you to sleep click on that and all the latest well all of the sessions are on there the audios that you can listen stream or download or you can just go to soundcloud or itunes or yeah, these sessions are still available otherwise I wouldn't be making them hmm I've also been redoing or rearranging my home and I got uh, Part of it was because Andre, my ferret, it's not a euphemism by the way, it's actually, it's a real ferret, it's not, it's not uh, just a part of my body that I call Andre, and he jumped up and he found a way to climb up my shelves and knock everything off. which apart from being a bit annoying also a bit amusing after the event I realised actually he could have hurt himself so I've rearranged the furniture so that that won't happen again Still a bit to do, but I might I might get on it today and finish what I started, but I might not. I'm going for a I don't know what kind of period I'm going through. When I say period, I mean. You know, uh, I don't know what do I need mean period. I suppose it's just a, a certain time span. For a week or a few days or whatever, where I have this urge to make changes,
also uh, kind of with this this little thought in my head about maybe taking Andre for really long walks every day as exercise for me and also he gets out which he loves then I think you know what I'd really like to do more of and that's read 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 more books read the books I've got maybe reread some of the important books that were important to me I don't have the big book collection that I once had I used to have a really large collection of hypnosis books now I've got a much smaller collection but it's still there's still a lot of useful, useful stuff in there Last night or early hours of the morning I was I was watching YouTube on my television. So I've got one of those Roku plug in dongle things. Um I think all of the T V things that you can plug in allows you to watch YouTube. In fact I think you can even buy television sets that have it all sort of inbuilt now. I made that up, but I think so. And they're called smart TVs. Anyway, I was watching this. Uh, I was watching. I like to try and find old documentaries especially like on hypnosis and things like that like a while back I found a a TV show from I think the 70s where there was an English TV show and there was a hypnotist and he was doing you know hypnosis with people getting them to so they were stuck to their chairs and you know doing all this stuff so I like to try and search out for old stuff that is uh, there was one years ago that I found and it was um, from America in the I think it was in the 60s and it was in black and white and this I think it was an informant uh, of a some kind of big crap criminal organization but he was an informant and he was going into court to testify something like that I don't know it might have been big news at the time 
Calhoun, something to do with Kennedy, I don't know. But um, he was hypnotized and they showed the whole process uh, to jog his memory and for him to notice more about what happened in a certain situation I forget what it was but I was more interested in the hypnosis side of things and the whole I don't know it's just fascinating so we're using hypnosis to see whether or not he had any kind of repressed memories Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I found one last night. Excuse me for moving around, but my neck is... Uh... I think what I need to do... is lay a bit flatter, oh, that's better. <sighs> oh, I may definitely fall asleep now. So I saw this uh, video on YouTube last night, or early hours of the morning, rather, and um, he was in court black and white in America in the 60s and it was about Floyd Patterson the boxer I kind of the quality wasn't so great the sound wasn't so great so I had to guess a little bit about why they were there my understanding is that Floyd Patterson's manager was taking Floyd Patterson's opponent or future opponent to court because he was using hypnosis and he believed that that would give his opponent an unfair advantage again I might be wrong I might be making this up I'm not making up the video but the reason why they were there but it was definitely some kind of dispute and what happens next is it's very very uh, I don't know very unusual so you've got all these people and it's a little courtroom so it's not a big thing but it's, it's all these professional people sitting around and um professional hypnotist comes in and his job is to prove that hypnosis can give somebody uh, an edge in boxing so he wanted to prove that actually with hypnosis you can make it so that you don't feel any pain and in his words I think it was that no matter how much Floyd Patterson punched his opponent his opponents the opponent would not feel it The 
thing is there's different ways of looking at this first of all no amount of hypnosis is going to make any difference when it comes to someone being knocked out because that's a physiological thing that cannot be affected with hypnosis that's the brain hitting against the wall of the of the whatever of the skull and that's concussion that's that's something that can't really be affected yet yeah, the person may not feel it but it'll be out of their control so they might be able to get tape punches to the face or to the stomach and not feel it but if they got knocked out they're going to go down regardless of whether they have hypnosis or not then there's the there's the I guess the other side of it which they weren't discussing is how dangerous that would be because they even said you know you could break the person's ribs and they wouldn't feel they wouldn't know how damaged they were until after the fight so you could still be getting hit in the same injury and I mean that could be catastrophic for someone so yeah that's perhaps not the best thing to be doing but I understand why someone might might do that So what happened in this courtroom is a hypnotist came in. He'd already hypnotized the person. And he pretty much put him back into a trance and just told him that he wouldn't feel anything. So no matter what he wouldn't feel any physical pain at all and um, the person is standing there with his eyes open but he's hypnotised so he's got like a waking trance and the hypnotist said Do you know after saying that he wouldn't feel any pain he you know, wouldn't feel anything the hypnotist slaps slaps him really hard see I thought <laughs> I thought they were going to do like a, a pinch test, you know. Uh, I've I've seen in trainings that you could do it with a needle, you could you put you know put a needle through the skin, or there's different ways of doing it. But uh, he also demonstrated later on how he could, uh, he put two people into trance a man and a woman and got them both to hold their hands out in what looked like a some kind of a, a not very popular salute it's not used so much these days and then he came back with his big flaming fire thing and started putting it under their hands uh, to prove that they didn't feel anything
But what happened next anyway with this man that just got slapped around the face by his hypnotist? People around were laughing. And then someone else came. Another person. I'm not sure if it was the judge or whoever. And he also slapped him. And then somebody else came. And he took on a boxing stance. It looked like he was going to punch him. And then he said something. It was hard to really hear. But he said something like. I would better do it with gloves. This is a courtroom. And it's got all these people that are kind of taking turns. And one of this this men put on a glove, like a boxing glove, starts punching him in the stomach. No, not even the stomach, in the chest. Like in the ribs really hard. A few times, not just once, but a few times. just uh, I think right at the end of it somebody asked him who he worried about he worried about Floyd Patterson or the opponent and he said he's not bothered because Floyd Patterson will win anyway nothing he'd so I, I don't really know what the point was of it all but never ever seen anything like that in my life in a courtroom you know this is in the 60s I think Floyd Patterson was the 60s might have been the 50s I think Floyd Patterson was before Muhammad Ali does come back remind me reminds me of one of the reasons I first got into hypnosis or really got interested in it because of chronic pain and being able to reduce that feeling feeling today how are you getting on so easily go back to sleep
last day today. Feels a lot warmer inside. I haven't had to put the heat it on. And I still feel feels like room temperature. myself <sighs> I might try to start doing these sessions in the living room with um, sitting in my black chair it would be a bit more comfortable for me for now and I should probably speak to you tomorrow my name is Jason Newland my website is jasonnewland.com take care